Alright, hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So today we are building a modern house. And this is like a real modern house in my eyes because I've probably built two houses I consider modern. Um, but I don't know. They're they have like the modern interior but you know it's questionable but you know what the modern houses they stand out you know they have the funky roofs they have the flat roofs i think this one definitely qualifies and i really like it i do enjoy modern houses and the sims i really do even though it doesn't seem like it because i don't think any of my sims like in any of my let's plays have modern houses besides blair blair Yes, Blair and my Torres like to see she lives in like a modern style house, but the rest of them, I don't know, I, they live in more traditional family homes, and I, I don't know why, but I do, I swear, I do enjoy these modern houses, but I don't know, they're just, I'm intimidated to build them, and I think it's because I lived on here in the south, right? And we don't have houses like this. So I don't see them often. I just see pictures of them. I see, you know, other people like YouTubers and stuff. They live in these type of houses. And they're really nice. And I like them. And I would honestly love to live in a house like this. If I ever moved outside of Alabama, um, I would like to have a house like this. I don't know. I just, I really like them. It's just different for me. So yeah, I was kind of like intimidated. But I was determined to build a modern house. And to build more modern houses. I just... I never want to stick to one style house. I want to expand my experience in The Sims and play in different style houses and also just like build on my building skills in general and just, you know, switch things up a little bit so it doesn't get boring and predictable. But yeah, I think this turned out nice. I followed a house plan, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. So also, this house is not a family home. I tend to do that as well, build family homes. But I furnished this one for three roommates, um, three girls, and I just, I don't know. When I started building it, I obviously knew it was going to be modern. I didn't know where it was going to, where I was going to go with it. I never really know until I get inside. I knew, obviously, the floor plan was three bedrooms, so obviously it can be a family home. But I don't know, when I just got inside... I just, oh, I just, it looked like a girly place to me. I don't know if that even makes sense. Because if you go, it's not pink or anything, but I don't know. I think what it is, is because I watch so much YouTube, um, and not necessarily just simmers. I watch a lot of sim videos, but I also watch, you know, like, beauty gurus and, like, vloggers and stuff like that. And I see their houses or their apartments, and they're very modern like this. And they're roommates. They have roommates, and I, like, this, that, that inspired this, I guess you would say. Not inspired it, but it inspired the interior. Okay, there you go. It inspired the interior. And especially when I put the pool in the backyard, I was like, yes, this just looks like a party place. So, I furnished it for three girls. Um, as you'll see, I tried to give their rooms each um, a different personality. Um, one girl, her room is very cute. It's one of the smaller rooms. It's the first room I do, you'll see. Um, I think it is the smallest, but it's not too small. But I gave her, like, a camera. I don't know. I just imagined her being, like, into photography or something because, personally, the photography skill is not something that I've ever really played around with on The Sims 4. So, you know, I was just like, you know, if, if I ever decide to, like, have a current household and do something like this, then here, she can have a camera and we'll, we'll play with that. We'll build off of that. So, yeah, that's one personality type. And, I mean, this is just how I furnished it. I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to, like, put these type of sims in here if you want to download the house. I'm just saying, this is what I imagined. <laughs> and then, the next room that I furnished, it's very pink, okay? It's very girly. And I just see her being really into, like, makeup. You know, maybe, maybe you could even download the YouTube career mod. I did a review on it. If you haven't seen it, it's really cool. You can be a beauty guru. You can be a video gamer, you can be a vlogger, and what was the other track that you could do? Why am I forgetting what that was? I forget what the other track was. I know there was another one. I can't think of it right now, though. 
Oh my gosh, it's going to bother me. <laughs> but anyways, there is a YouTube career mod. And I don't know why I just imagined YouTubers living in this house. Uh, I guess because I already told you. I am just I was inspired off of all the houses I see where YouTubers live in these modern, beautiful, extravagant homes. <laughs> but anyways, you know, maybe she could be a vlogger or something like that with a video camera. I don't know. And then the second girl, she could be maybe a beauty guru. Her room is very pink, very bright and loud. I just see her being... You know, just being that big personality, I guess you would say. And very outgoing. Um, and then the next room is more chill, more laid back. I gave her a piano. I really like the, the last room I did. You'll see. It's just, I try to give them all a different personality and, like, different skills, obviously, and interests to correlate with their room. But overall, I don't know, I just see this being three young girls starting out. They're moving, you know, out of the house with their mom and dad or their families. And instead of going to the city and getting an apartment... You know, because it's small. They was like, you know what? We can definitely just rent this house. So, I don't see this house being something that they technically own, okay? Because it is kind of, like, big and expensive for, you know, realistically. If you're playing realistically, three young Sims that are just starting out. But, you know, if you combine their funds, then they could easily split this rent and pay it. No problem. The pool, it just, it looks like a party area. You'll see what I did in the backyard. It just looks like the hangout spot. There's a music out there. There's a bar out there. There's a pool. I mean, it just, it looks like so much fun. I would love to live here with, like, two of my best friends. It's, like, the perfect house for that. So, yeah, that's the inspiration behind this house. I hope you enjoy the build because, you know me, I can't talk about the build the whole time. I really do admire people that can do that. I don't know how in the world they do it because first off I have a hard time speaking in general I don't know why I just I do it in person too I want to blame it on you know the pressure of recording and knowing that somebody's listening to this but I actually stutter and like just I'm a hot mess when I talk in person too I've always been that way and I think it's because you know, my brain goes so fast, like I have all these thoughts in my head, and I just, my mouth can't get them out fast enough, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I just, I get on a roll, and I talk like really, really fast, and then people around me, if you don't know me, and you haven't been around me for a long time, um, you just probably thinking, will you shut the hell up? Will you slow down? I don't know what you're saying. You know, the meme where the person's just like shaking their head like, mm, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I feel like that's me 99% of the time and how people act around me if they don't know me. But, you know, once you do know me, you kind of get used to it and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but also, if you meet me in person, I know it sounds like I have like a very outgoing personality through YouTube, which I do and am a very outgoing person. But if you ever meet me in person, at first, I'm kind of like shy. And I wouldn't really say shy. I'm not like scared to talk to you. But it takes me a little bit to like open up. Especially if I'm not around my friends and people that I'm comfortable with. Maybe if you met me and I was with my friends, I was already being myself and around people that I was comfortable with, you know. That I could freely like be myself and let it all out there. But if I'm like new walking up into like a job or something, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not going to like completely scare everybody away at first. <laughs> I'm kind of like standoffish a little bit. But not stand... You know what I'm saying? I'm sure a lot of people are like that too. But anyways... Oh, I don't even, how did I get on that? I was talking about how I admire people who can talk about the build. Anyways, yeah, I just, I can't do it because it, it's hard for me to talk, is what I'm trying to say, yeah, just in general, and I just can't sit here and just like, oh yeah, I decided to go with that black cabinet, I mean, I just feel like that's boring for me. I enjoy listening to other people though, it's just weird, but I personally just enjoy to listen to people ramble. <laughs> <laughs> or just talk to me. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your life. How's it going? That's what I like to hear. So that's what we're doing here on my channel. So I hope you don't mind. Who is calling me right now? Are you serious? Let me tell y'all who is calling me. Stu people trying to collect my student loan money. I am not. I ain't got no money right now. Don't call me. <laughs> I'm so serious right now. I've been ignoring them. Um, they're just gonna have to wait a second. You hear me? I mean, I'm just. They have. They're gonna have to wait. <laughs> but anyways, y'all. On that note, be smart. 
if you guys are young and you haven't graduated high school yet, and those of you who have, and y'all can vouch for me and just, like, back me up here, be very, very smart when making the decision to go to school, where you're going, because I made bad decisions. So, let me go ahead and just talk about this. Here's my little topic of the day. Um, okay, so... When I was in high school, especially my senior, my junior and senior year, I was very rebellious. I was a very rebellious child, and I wanted away from my parents, you know, as most teenagers are like that, you know. I just, I wanted to be on my own. I've always been a very independent person. Still am. I want to do it on my own. I want to prove everybody wrong. I just, I want to do me, be me, and do it myself. I don't want to have other people help me. I just want to do it myself. And so, I really just wanted to get away from my parents. My parents were not, like, very strict. They were stricter than most of my friends' parents. But at the same time, they did, you know, allow me to, like, go out and have fun with my friends and everything. But at the same time, they were kind of more strict, you know. I just couldn't just get away with everything, you know. I had to have permission, and they would tell me no all the time. And I would get punished and have my phone taken away, and I would get my butt beat. <laughs> but anyways... On another note, what am I trying to say here? Oh, yeah. I wanted to really get away from them, honestly, so I could be in college and party and do the party and college scene life. I just, that's what I wanted. I wanted to experience that, and I didn't want to have to worry about coming home to my parents every night. So, I wanted to go somewhere where I would obviously be away from home and have to live off campus. So, I went to another state, which was probably only about an hour and 30 minutes away. So, it was a very good distance. I drove back when I wanted to come visit and everything. But anyways, I knew it was expensive. Obviously, I was not choosing to do a two-year community college to get my credits. And I also wasn't choosing to stay in-state for like a cheaper tuition and stay in home. I just wanted to be rebellious and do me. And I regret that so much now because my tuition was so freaking expensive. And I did get some, obviously some loans, that's why they're calling me, but... I didn't get any kind of grants because, you know, my, they said my parents made too much money. And I'm like, really? Then why, why, am I, why am I struggling to pay this off right now if my parents make all this money? I'm telling y'all, college, that whole financial aid crap is not fair. I hate it so much. I wish Donald Trump, somebody would fix it because it ain't right. But anyways, basically, let me just tell y'all, I was in school for two years. We'll we can talk about why I'm not in school anymore and what happened there in another video because this one is wrapping up. But let me just say, I was in school two years and I'm about $20,000-ish in debt from two years of school. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Didn't even finish. Didn't, and there's reasons why, I, you know, like I said, we'll go into that later. But anyways, my whole point in saying all this is just to be smart, okay? Um, if you have not graduated and you, you know, you're thinking about college, I know your mom has probably said, you know, why don't you stay home or, you know, why don't you go to a two-year community college? And I know for me, I was like, heck no, tech no, I'm, heck no, tech no, what the hell, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> what? Anyways, I was like, no way, I'm not going to a two-year community college, I'm going to a four-year university, who do you think you're talking to? I don't know why I was thinking that, but I wish I would have because it's the smartest thing to do because it is so much cheaper. Honestly, you're getting all of your basics out of the way and it's the price is cut in like a half times two. I mean, it's just so much cheaper, so much freaking smarter. And if you're going to college just to join a sorority or, you know, a fraternity or to have that party lifestyle, then just... Don't even go to college. Just stay home and party because you're wasting all of your money and your grades are going to be crap because of it. So, I don't know. Just just some life advice from someone who has failed miserably in that area. I've learned from it and, you know, it's okay. It's all good. It's in the past. I've learned from it. I'm doing good now. Everything's fine. I'm doing me. I got a good job making really good money. More than some of my friends make that just graduated college with a degree. So I'm doing pretty good. Got an apartment. Got a brand new car. I mean, I, I, I can take care of myself. But at the same time, I have bill collectors. Not bill collectors, really, because it's, it's the loan people calling me saying, okay, you know what? Time's up. You really got to start paying us back now. And I'm just like, can we please push it back support, please? <laughs> it's just, it's, 
you got to be smart because it's unless you are lucky and you're super smart and you got a scholarship or you get all these grants some of us are not as fortunate and you know you may have to you know work your butt off and like pay for it out of pocket or you know take out loans that you will have to pay back you just have to consider that college is very important obviously and you got to take it serious okay no playing around no party and you got to balance it well okay don't be like me I party too much. I messed it up. And we'll talk about that later. This whole video is me giving you... I'm being very preachy. I don't mean to be preachy. I'm sorry if that's annoying. And you're probably like, shut up, I didn't ask you. Oh, I thought this was them calling me again. But it's my Nana. <laughs> so let me call my Nana or answer the phone and talk to her. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I hope you don't mind me ranting. Um, not really ranting. Just preaching at y'all about making good decisions. But anyways, yes. Um, this house is available for download on the gallery if you want to download it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you agree with anything I said, disagree, any of your concerns. If y'all want to hear more about my college lifestyle, my regrets, my mistakes, my lessons learned, all of that, just let me know. I can rant about it later. Also, subscribe if you have not. <laughs> and yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Toss me like a stone You swept me off my feet yeah. I can't feel my bones I still count the days You swept me off my feet I keep going high, she keeps going low Something feels wrong right now I know Something feels wrong you don't wake me, cause I keep breathing fire I won't wait for you, cause you keep telling lies I keep going high, she keep going low At the end of the day, she's gone